Primark, Primark, they've started selling Che Guevara t-shirts. That's a fitting testament to the man's legacy, isn't it? Che Guevara. <laughs> che Guevara he fought for the poor and oppressed in South America. Now his face has been stitched onto t-shirts by the poor and oppressed in South East Asia. <laughs> to be worn by the poor and oppressed in South East London. <laughs> As for, I, as for I stay when I come to London, South East London, kind of Dulwich sort of area, there's a lot, a lot of knife crime, a lot, a lot of crime. I, 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 don't, I don't really know the solutions to that particular problem, but I think a start would be to maybe close, close the shops that sell the weapons in the first place. Now you get these high street shops that sell crossbows to guys in shell suits. Not these places. <laughs> shops that sell thousands of baseball bats every year, but have never sold any baseballs. Oh, the Peckham Rye, Red Sox. I've not had a game in a while. <laughs> As in one of these places, done a bit of research, and the only security measure, if you want to buy a violent weapon, is you need to fill in a form, leaving your name and address, so if anything happens, you can be traced for questioning. Now, that's the theory. But what self-respect in that case? <laughs> Buying a weapon would leave their real name and address. <laughs> now, I picture some police investigation team going through the book and saying, excuse me, excuse me, shop owner, says here, you sold a samurai sword to Bert and Ernie. <laughs> from 24 Sesame Street. <laughs> and some new guy cop, he'd get sent on a wild goose chase somewhere. Sesame Street not showing up on the sat nav. <laughs> Putting down the window for directions. Going, excuse me, mate, excuse me. Can you tell me? <laughs> how to get... How to get to Sesame, that's a wind-up, isn't it? <laughs>